Hello and welcome back to Taz Wells 12. You are here again on my YouTube channel watching me doing another makeup video with another product for my chocolate collection that I've been doing out as a little series. Um, yes, my hair is looking a bit of a mess. Um, but yes, my hair is looking a bit messy, but we can sort that at the end of the video. So that is not how much of a big deal. It's just wet. I've just had a shower. So um, I just want to say a few things before we get into the video. Um, if you like the video, please like it. Please like the products. Please like the video in general. Please give me a subscribe on Taswell's 12 and hit the notification bell. That's when you'll see the upload firstly when it goes first live. Also check out my TikTok and my Instagram. They're all under Taswell's 12 and this video is not sponsored I have brought the products that I'm going to show you into this video as well and I think that's everything and if you're new hi um yep so I'm Taz Wells 12 and I am Tara Wells and this is my YouTube so hi and welcome so yeah let's get on to the, into the video and then you can see the product the product today I'm going to use, like I said in the intro, is to do with the chocolate collection. So I've obviously showed you loads of the chocolate collection from Rev I Heart Revolution. So we're going to go and use one of them. So today we are looking at the. This is an old one, by the way, because it's an I Heart makeup. So this was what it used to be called, and it now it's gone I Heart Revolution. So this one is quite an old one again. So this one's I Heart Makeup London, which is I Heart Revolution, and this is the Golden Bar one. So on the back is just a picture of what the colours that are in the palette. The palette looks like this. So it's just a dark brown chocolate design with the gold one on the front as the chocolate on the back is the I Heart makeup which is I Heart Revolution golden bar there we go a little bit like Willy Wonka and the chocolate factory so quite a little thing inside the palette it looks like this so as you probably can tell this is a very um, shimmery palette so normally I would use this palette to go with a matte one that I normally got but we are generally going to try and use just this palette today so I probably won't use all the colours I will try and do a few looks out of this to make a few videos so you can try and see what you want to try but that this is just a metallics palette so here we go so I am going to cheat a little bit today, normally I would just use the palette on its own but I am going to cheat today. So what I'm actually going to use with it is another um, Revolution palette, so this is an I Heart Revolution one. So this is just a little baby one, um, these are really good palettes as well, so this obviously is a newer palette because it's I, I Heart Revolution. This is the bronze and glow palette. So this is a bronze and a highlighter duo powder, really good, love this, not very expensive but brilliant, brilliant little palette. In this palette you get a highlighter which is really pretty and then you get bronze. So what I'm going to do is just to put my base and in my crease will be this bronze colour but obviously because it's a revolution palette I don't think it's that cheating that much but I will try and use most colours from this one. So this is the little baby one. And this is a daddy one, very, very cute, isn't it? So I'm just gonna put you on a time lapse. Um, I'm just gonna prime and put my hair up and sort my eyes out and we can go from there. So in the time lapse, I've just 
primed up my eyes. Hopefully you saw the products. It's the same products I use all the time because I think they're the best things. So yeah, and they're good on price. So yeah, that's all that done. So we're gonna go into the palette. So like I said, I'm gonna cheat and use this little one. So I'm just gonna use this bronze color here and we'll use a big fluffy brush to put that in the crease. So the brush I'm gonna use is a Real Techniques one. I don't actually know what this is called, but I've used it a couple of times. It's just a big flat round brush. So we're just gonna use that. As you can see, I really love this bronzer. This bronzer as a general, I use quite a lot, um, but yeah, it's good to put in the eyes. So can't go wrong with that. So yeah, just dab it on and then we'll go pack it on. It's not like, as you can see, it's not like really brown, but it's gonna give us the depth we want just to give us that base. So like I said, I will, um, I will try and use as many colors as I can, but it's gonna be very hard because it is a metallics. And this little one smells of chocolate, which is lovely. Really good bronzer, really cheap, by the way. May have to get another one, and I really like the highlight. The highlight is really, really nice as well. But like I said, just use this as a base. Just pack as much as you want on. As you can see, I'm packing quite a bit on because this is only the matte colour we've got. I might have to use another matte colour. Just thinking about it, just to blend this in at the top, but. That's not a big case. I've got something we can use for that as well. So we're gonna go on to the Golden Bar palette. I'm gonna use this sheet because I think this is the sheet that it is. Because I lost the sheet and because they're an old one, the names are not on the bottom and you get a sheet of paper. So, there's some brown, there's a gold in here I really want to get out and try. Yeah, I think we can go for this. I think this is good enough. Right, so we're going to go in. So we're going to cut the crease first, I think would be the best thing. So what I'm going to use for that is, is the NYX HD um, concealer. I use this every time I do a cut crease, so that's that. And then we're just going to use a spectrum a15 and this is what it looks like very very good brush to do it so we're just going to use that um i'm just going to do one on camera and then i'll do the other one i'll do this makeup look and then the other one off so you don't gonna go right right down I'm probably gonna cut the whole crease actually so I make it a little bit different because there is gonna be it's just matching it up to the top so it's not and just give it a good amount of um, concealer on there because we want the colors to show so yeah I've cut the whole crease and why I've done that because we're going they're all metallics. Um, I will blend it up to that brown, but I thought if I cut the whole lot, then we can do as many colours as we want. So that's good. So let's just get a flat brush. I'm gonna use one from Poundland. This one's got little gems in today. It's just got a stubby one this and a long one this end. We're gonna actually use the long one first. Really good. Poundland are really good for these and these pick up these colours really well. So, the first colour I'm probably going to go into 
which is going to be a bit of a mixture actually, is blocked, block and wrapper. So this is block, this darker one here, and this one's a wrapper. So we're just going to mix the both of them because they're pretty much the same as you can see. So we're just going to mix both of them. I'm probably thinking why did I get a palette that's got just metallics in it. Well, yeah, I did think so, but it, there's some really pretty colours in here and I certain ones I do use, so. So we're going to go on the outside and in. And then we're just going to tap that on. Like that. That's fine. It's, yeah, it's a little bit dark, but it's fine. So what we're going to do, as you can see, that's quite dark. So this one is from the Naked 3 palette. Unfortunately, it's got a flat end and then a really like sort of flattish, fluffyish brush. So we're going to use that just to blend that in. And it hasn't got any of the colour on it, but we're just going to like that. And then what we can do is layer it up. So put a bit more on. Just make sure it is equal like that as you can see so we're not like it's not. you can still see the brown but it's blended in up there the next color we're going to go into is this coppery color i'm dying to use this and this copper colour is called golden. It's like an orangey copper colour. Can you see that? It's pretty. So we're going to use a little bit of that. Same brush, but we're going to use the stubbier end this time. You can see, look how I pick them up. Really, really good. So we're just going to go on that. Hopefully you can see. If you can, I would dab them on there. We're going to take this down quite a bit. I'll probably use three colours on my lid. Anything. But you can see the orange coming up. Really, really pretty. So now you're probably thinking, oh, we've got a big, massive gap here. So what we're going to do is go back to the long end and go back in with the two that we originally started with and blend that in with them so it like creeps in and you can see like you can see that blended in so much better now so you haven't took all away the copper they have got a little bit of fallout, which is not the greatest things, and it's good. Um, but yeah, but we get a nice blend, as you can see. So the next colour we're going to use is tablet, which is this colour up here. So this is tablet. So it's like a mm, light goldish. So we're going to use that. We're going to use the same brush, but we're going to use a little stubby end. In between you put new colours on, do wipe the brush off because otherwise you'll get a mixture of colours. So we're just going to go into the last bit on the eye. And this time, you're going to go into the copper colour. Like so. As you can see, very, very nice, bend it up. And we're gonna just do the inner corner. I'm just gonna swatch two because there's two I like. There's Chocolatier and there's Collection. Collection is this white one. And Chocolatier is this one, which I do love and I do use all the time. I use this white, so. I think I'm just going to swatch the first. 
so so yeah you probably can see that yeah you can see that so this is collection and this is chocolate tear i think that's going to be a bit too nearer to what i put so we're going to actually go for collection i'm going to put that right we're going to use this point brush which is just really tiny like that and it takes a lot of product on it and it gets right in the corner uh, and then we're going to put that into the corner and then just blend it in with the other one very pretty as you can see there so that's that so what we're just going to do is just clear up this eye um, and we're going to clear up the top this brush from Primark it's a double end this is the one I always use to do my under eye so we'll do the under eye later when I put mascara on cleaned up so we're just going to do this um, with this bronze brown like so and then just go across the top and just clear up a little bit Nice. I'm just gonna go off camera, do the other eye, clean up, and we'll be back. I've cleared everything up and done the other eye, as you see, and I've done them so they match, which is good. The only other bit I did forget to do was the top bit that I did. So we can do that, that's fine, I'll do that big. Cool. But what I'm gonna do now, is um, just do the lower lash, which is fine, because we're gonna use this first anyway. So this is gonna go on the lower lash. And you're probably thinking I put the mascara on as well. Um, normally I do, um, but I'm gonna try it a little bit different and mix it up. So, so we're just gonna go back into them two dark shades because I think they would be really good. So that, so that was wrapped and block. And I'm just gonna use this. Just dip in both. Like that. We're just going to take it into the core to the first core of the eye at the back. So it's sort of like a smote look. So we're just going to do that on the other eye if you didn't see. Sorry, I'm opening my mouth like a fish, but. only because I have a fear I don't want to poke myself in the eye. Heat that. That's done. That's a little bit smoky. So what we're going to use under there now is a different shade. And then we'll go in with collection right on the bottom, the white colour. So we're going to go in with Coco now. Coco is this bronzy red colour there. It's like a brick colour. We're going to use that right under the lash line. Um, there we go. Ooh, fire. Do the other side. To both. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, that is fire, isn't it? So that's that. And then we're just going to use this point brush again. And we're just going to go back into collection, which was the white colour. 
I was just going to drag that down like that. Down into the bottom corner like that. Like fire and ice, very pretty. So we're just gonna finish off the makeup look now. So we're just gonna put some mascara on. So this is the False Lash Queen one. This is the one I use all the time from Primark. Cheap, rave about it, done dusted. Just gonna put this on time lapse because you always see me do this. So the mascara is on, as you can see, I rave about this mascara all the time, I think it does a, such a good job, love it, go wrong with that. So I'm just going to wrap up and do the last bit of the look, like I said I didn't have like a neutral colour in there, so what we're going to do is just use this eyebrow little duo set which is from Isla, um, it's got this cream on it, so we're just going to use that. So hopefully, yeah, that is what it looks like, this little beigey colour. I'm just going to get a fluffy brush like this one. This one's fine. Just a big fluffy brush. I'm going to use that one. Tap on the white. Tap off some. And just blend that brown in. Normally I would use a palette that has got matte in it, but like I said, I normally use a matte palette with this, but we didn't have that. So if you've got a bronzer lying about that is too dark for you, just use it on as a matte shade for this palette because it still wax. And just blend it out like this. So, and I'm just going to sort my hair out and be back. So I'm back and I have sorted out my um, hair. What we're going to do just for the last bit because I've noticed that I've lost quite a bit of the brown on the side. Might just rubbed it a little bit too much with the pale colour but we can go back into that so what we do is just take the original brush and take the bronze colour and just sort of just gently go back and forth and then it gives you the bronze colour back into the eye just in case you think you've left like lost it because it's not like a massive dark bronze so it's not frightening I'll do it this side like so like that and now there we go we just feel like we've brought that colour back because I felt like we thought I lost it a little bit but don't go obviously onto the eyeshadow that you've done you just want it as a base you can only do this with the light shade colours if you think that you've lost it. I wouldn't do it with like a really dark one because you have to get back in and blend it and do all the process again. But just gently take the brush that you did, dab it a couple of times and just do like what like I showed you. That I do if I think, oh damn, I've kind of lost that colour. But now that you can see that has definitely come back and it is beaming with that bronze again and it is really really nice shade to do that with so that was a good tip we have come to the end of the video so we are going to talk about this little palette palette is not something i probably would go for because it doesn't have a matte color if it had one matte color in this palette like even this brown this would have definitely helped it but I think they were just going on the golden bar so all shimmers or metallics or make them like that because 
they're, there's some nice, nice metallics in there and you can make a decent look out of this. You just have to be careful and you do need a mat to start with. But that's fine, you can always find one. But I wish they just put one in there so you just had that to go with. I really like the palette, that's why I bought it. Um, but it's not practical. I, there's some other palettes of the golden ones that I do like or the chocolate ones I do like so they are more my favorite but like let's talk about the look so the look that this is come up with i am really happy with it i love this gold and bronzy color in the middle i love that i think they've blended really well together even though we had just no base, we just had literally the concealer. I think they've gone on really well. They've matched. This colour's really pretty. This colour's really pretty. Like I said, there's some nice colours in there. But like I've already said, this is the end of the video. And I hope you do like the colour. And I hope you do like the product. And I hope you do try them out. And I hope you do try this look out. And if you do, give it a comment in below if you do. Because I'll be really happy. Um, but yeah, please try it out. Please let me know what you think. If you do have that palette. It is like a fiery, smoky eye. Which I think is really pretty. Um, I'll try and do another look out of this palette. Because I think you can do another one. So we'll try another one out of that. Um, so yeah, and we have come to the end of the video sadly, and I just want to thank you for watching, or coming back, or being new and watching this video. Um, like I said, if you are new, please subscribe to my channel, Taswells12, hit the notification bell, and then you'll see it first hand when I upload these videos. I am trying to do quite a bit of content and get it out there, so bear with me I do have a normal job um, so yeah do bear with um, the other things is look out for my other social media which is TikTok and Instagram they are 12 as well as 12 as well please subscribe please like there's some photos on there that you'll probably like and there's a lot more different stuff that I put on YouTube so there you go definitely check them out and I just want to say thanks for watching, thanks for being new here, welcome if you are, and I am going to say bye now, and I'm going to give you a little, little love, like I always do, and I will see you next time, bye.